Blood and Gifts is a sweeping historical or political thriller set against the actual events of the Soviet Afghan war and it, it tracks the lives of five members of different nations espionage forces. The strongest emotional thread and the current of the play is the relationship and the shifting alliances and loyalties between these different men and their, the cost of this heroic effort that they're all making, whether you agree or not with them politically, the cost that has on their, their families, their personal lives, and their sense of who they are and, and what they're doing here. One of the central ideas that the play deals with is the idea of trust, because this is a play about, about spies and the stakes do become at moments literally life and death. There are moments in the story when a character has to make a decision that may end up costing the life of one of the other characters that we've come, I hope, if I've written, done my job properly, to care about. This is a world in which you cannot afford to trust people beyond a certain point. What I really am excited about with Timeline is that well, frankly, it just does the kind of plays that I want to go see. It does, be they comedies, be they musicals, be they dramas, be they historical, be they current events. They're plays that are rooted in the public. They're plays that look outward into ideas and people and larger currents. So that, over the years, watching the company's work and seeing it, reading about it and seeing it firsthand, I've really come to admire. The Timeline production is the fourth production of Blood and Gifts, and what's fascinating seeing it here is how different it is from the others. What is really interesting and exciting about the Timeline production is its intimacy and its almost filmic you are there quality to the production. A great deal of the play actually is two or three men sitting in a closed doored room quietly discussing the fate of the world. That there is an intimacy in this production that pulls out an intimacy in the play that that was not as clear in other productions. With this company of actors and this extraordinary design team under Nick's captainship, you're getting an experience that you can't get on television. They put together what live theater does that nobody else or no other art form does. That is ideas and emotions ringing outward in a public space where a group of people, often strangers to begin with, are taken on a ride that they could not take on their own, and at the end of which, on some level, are changed. And that, I would argue, is worth the price of admission and worthy of your time.